Life is unpredictable. We have no control over the future and can never predict what will happen the next second. Things may look ordinary, yet it only takes a millisecond to turn everything disastrous. From a man sliced in half by a train to a woman who survived falling 33,000 feet without a parachute, today, we are looking at seven people who survived impossible. Sliced in half by train. In 2006, Truman Duncan was working in the railroad yard as a switchman in Texas. When he was working, he accidentally fell onto the track while the train was running. He tried to run backward to avoid being hit by a train, but unfortunately, it ran him over pulling behind the wheels and dragging him 75 feet. This terrifying accident nearly cut him in half. Miraculously he somehow survived and reached for his cell phone to call 911. After calling 911, he called his family to say, I am hit by a train and I love you so much. It took 45 minutes to find him by paramedics and they couldn't believe he was still alive. It took over 23 surgeries and he was in a coma for three weeks. His right leg was amputated above the knee, his left leg was amputated at his hip, and he lost one kidney. The pilot got stuck outside of the plane. On June 10, 1990, just 27 minutes into a flight, British Airways cockpit windows shattered, and Captain Tim Lancaster was ripped from his seat and stuck outside the window at 7,000 meters at the speed of 400 miles per hour. At that time the plane was carrying 81 passengers and six crew members, and the temperature was minus 17 degrees centigrade. Imagine being hit by minus 17 degrees centigrade at the speed of 400 miles per hour. He didn't blow away because his leg got stuck inside the plane's control panel. Within a few minutes co-pilot grabbed his leg before he went out completely. The captain's friend and crew members thought he was dead. They didn't let his body go because his body might go into a plane engine. The plane landed successfully and his lifeless body was removed, but nobody believed he survived. The captain suffered bone fractures and frostbite. It took five months for a full recovery and was flying again. survived 60 hours underwater. On May 23, 2013, 29-year-old Harrison Akeen was working as a cook in a tugboat at the cost of Nigeria in the icy water of the Atlantic Ocean. On that day, he woke up in the morning and went to a bathroom. When he was in a bathroom, a huge wave hit the tugboat and the boat landed on the sea roof upside down and sank into the water, killing 11 crew members out of 12. It was pitch black in the bathroom, and the boat had gone more than 100 feet below the sea. He didn't know how to swim. In the total dark, he heard some sound, this was the sound of Sark hitting the boat. Alone and lost, in freezing cold water, he had no food or water, and was only wearing underwear. He had lost all hope of living. But he did manage to find a small bottle of coke, and started drinking to prevent dehydration. After 60 hours he was found in a very dark cabin by a team of sea divers who were on a mission to retrieve the bodies from the tugboat. Nobody believed he was still alive. In an interview, he said it was totally dark and the water was so 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 cold. I was struggling to stay alive, I was thinking about my family, my wife, how would she live, what she do, what would happen to her, how I get alive, and thinking about my life as well. Teen survived a lightning strike. Two high school lovebirds Dylan Corliss and Lexi Varga survived lightning strike because they were holding hands. On Thursday, during a thunderstorm, the couple were walking down a tree-lined street to buy a burger when a lightning bolt hit them. The couple were thrown to the ground but escaped unharmed. They didn't know what just happened. They were shocked when a passerby came over to help them up and said they had just been hit by lightning directly. The couple rushed to the hospital for a checkup. Dr. Stephen Reynoso said their hand-holding helped diffuse the electrical current that entered through Dylan's head and exited through Lexi's foot. Fun fact, every year around 270 people are struck by lightning in the US and more than 2,000 people get struck by lightning around the world. So to survive lightning, just hold your hand with your girlfriend, or if you don't have a girlfriend, then hold your friend's hand. women survived falling 33,000 feet without a parachute. Many of us think this news is fake, but it's 100% true. Her name is Vesna Vulavik. On 26 January 1972, she survived a 33,000-foot fall without a parachute. 
At that time she was only 23 years old and working as a flight attendant. On that day it wasn't her duty as a flight attendant. It was another Vesna that should have been working. But, because of the same name, they got confused and misplaced. After 46 minutes of takeoff, at 4 p.m., the plane exploded into three pieces and crash landed in the thick snow. Out of 28 people on the flight, she was the only survivor. She was found screaming, though she later fell into a coma for a few days. She was seriously injured and suffered a fractured skull, several broken ribs, three broken vertebrae, two broken legs, and temporary paralysis below the waist. She was able to wake up after 10 months. Who is the luckiest here? The one who survived 33,000 feet falling, or the one who got misplaced by the same name? What do you think, who is the lucky, let us know in a comment below. The man cut off his own arm. Aaron Lee Rialstol is an American mountaineer, motivational speaker, and mechanical engineer, known for surviving 127 hours pinned by a boulder until he amputated his own arm and scape. In April 2003, he was on a solo climbing trip in Utilis Canyonlands National Park. He hadn't told anyone where he was going. While he was thinking, he accidentally stepped on a loose boulder and fell down and got his arm stuck with an 800-pound boulder. He tried to free his arm but didn't get any success. It was only a few-hour hike, so he brought only a few food including one bottle of water, two burritos, and some candy bars. He had a small pocket knife, and for 15 hours he tried his best to cut away the rock, but didn't get any result. He had run out of food and water. After five days of being trapped, he was forced to drink his own urine due to lack of water. He thought he was going to die, so he recorded a goodbye message to his loved ones on his video camera. After that, he fell asleep and had a dream in which he saw himself with one arm. That dream gave him motivation and started amputating his arm by using an inch knife. It took an hour to cut his arm. After five days he was finally free. His real-life survival story has been turned into a movie named 127 Hours. The Man Who Survived Two Atom Bombs Imagine being survived by two atom bombs. Tsutomu Yamaguchi was a Japanese marine engineer who was the only person in history to have survived both the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings, which were dropped by the USA during World War II in 1954. On 4 January 2010 at the age of 93, he passed away due to stomach cancer. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.